Behind this door lies the story of one of history's most famous saints, at least by name, St. Valentine. These catacombs, open once a year on St. Valentine's Day, are named after the Roman priest and martyr and date back to the third century. But historians say the person the modern world now considers the patron of lovers is actually two saints rolled into one. There are two Valentines, two saints who were martyrs. They probably died during the persecutions of the third century, either in 250 during Diocletian's persecution or Valerian's persecution in 256, before the great persecutions of the fourth century. According to Professor Visconti, who's in charge of Rome's catacombs, these elaborate feet likely belonged to the martyrs, possibly including St. Valentine. There were two floors of catacombs and one basilica. The martyr was buried in the basilica. Different historical sources remember the saint. There's a famous passage from the 5th to the 6th century about a martyr named Valentine, who was buried on Via Flaminia, an important road full of necropoli. The other Saint Valentine was Bishop of Terni, a town in central Italy in the 3rd century. He was a martyr and a saint, but his fame as the patron of lovers is something new. Devotion to Saint Valentine of Terni as the patron of lovers is a tradition that came about later, in the last 50 or 60 years. Times have changed. Instead of paying homage to the two martyrs on Valentine's Day, Roman lovers now flock to the Milvian Bridge. There, couples throw keys to locks into the Tiber as a symbol of their union. The modern world may have invented its own idea of St. Valentine and made a special day out of it. But in the end, the holiday is still based on the philosophy which these saints lived, giving up one's life for love. <laughs>